Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another capsule review series. Today we're going to dive into a tandem review, which is going to just basically explore and evaluate two of my favorite springtime classics. One is a Sauvignon Blanc out of New Zealand. The other is a classic fragrance, a classic DNA that is built off woody, citrus, and aromatic capsulation. If this sounds like the type of content you think you'll enjoy, pull up a seat, pour a glass, and of course, let's enhance. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the dry down. As you know, this is the channel where we aspire to enhance and elevate our olfactive sensory experiences through the understanding of the different aromas, faucets, and nuances of scent cigars and wines. I'm your host, Chris. Welcome to today's experience. Today, as I stated, we're going to dive into one of my favorite classic DNAs for the springtime that is a four season scent, but it goes off much more cleaner, much more effervescence, and a light sweet touchness for springtime weather, which is to me here in Southeast Michigan, there's gonna be a range of 45 degrees to 75 degrees in Fahrenheit. This classic style of DNA is one that I love and enjoy in this season. And that is from the house of Kajal. That is the fragrance Kajal Om. And it is a, a very nice winner of a fragrance. So what you get from Kajal Om in the opening, this is a scent that opens with a classic DNA of masculine cologne and masculine perfumery. It opens very bright, very succulent and sweet with its tartness and tanginess from citrus fruits, including a very, very well composed Mandarin Accord, black currant buds, cassius. Cassius is one of those fragrant notes that gives it a very, very explosive opening that I enjoy in many fragrances. That is one of the fragrance notes that came off in the fragrance that I reviewed a few weeks ago by the name of Doza. Doza has that unique as well Cassis opening, which is just, they run so well in concurrent and opening of fragrances to other citrus accords and amber accords that make them so, so inviting. And this one here, this is a scent done by Chris Maurice and Rosendo Mattel. And if you've heard those names before, one is the house perfumer for Zerzhov. And the other is a master perfumer that you've had in your life since they are come to mind. Like the Rosendo Matu number no. 5, Floral Woody Musk, which was a spectacular set. They hit the scene in 2020, 2021. Those two perfumers worked together in collaboration to create Kajal Own for the House of Kajal. And like I stated in the opening, this is a quite ubiquitous scent, but it's also unique in the way it's underpinned and made with such high quality of oils. It is a scent that I think is charismatic. It is subtle and quiet, but yet it has a presence about itself. And that's what you always want in a scent with this type of DNA. You want to be present. You want to be there in the room, but you want to be one that is a background player when it comes to a scent of this DNA. It is quite, you won't have anyone in your life that will tell you this is a bad smell. It is such, it has these woody components that elevated to a masculine very well made masculine homage to masculinity it has guayac wood it has a slight bit of oud and agar wood a touch of patchouli which makes it a, a bit green and herbaceous as well it comes up with a very inviting sensual vanilla as well the way that this thing is composed you're going to get many of the mid components which is a fresh spicy um, cardamom accord to go along with the cassius which is vibrant succulent and tart along with that mandarin all of these components make this one of the nicest scents to put on your skin it's one that if i was to say it was competing with any fragrance on the market today i would say if you are a fan of chanel o extreme allure o extreme the sport edition these fragrances are very similar in the way they are made in the composition wise but this one here i would say and give it the, the the pedestal of being a better made more higher quality fragrance so if you are a fan of that allure own dna this is a scent that takes that to an elevated presence an elevated feel and also an elevated quality so for me i wear this scent today i'm going out to the office i got to spend a few hours in the office then go into um, a home to see some things that are being done and I want to wear this particular fragrance today because it's uplifting as well. And when you have an uplifting scent, anytime that you have anything go wrong in your day, 
these type of scents for me and giving that olfactory experience just create time um, where I'm just sitting back and enjoying my day and the exploration of that day. Scents like this are commonplace many times in offices, but like I said, this one is not just ubiquitous. It is unique as well. And if you have a scent like this on, you can come off as classy, you come off as assertive, authoritative, but well as calming and have empathy. And that's one thing about fragrances that you can put into your wardrobe that you want to put those type of fragrances in so that each area of your life you can go into feeling confident and comfortable in. And so for me today, Kajal Om is one of those scents that is spectacular, a spectacular wear that I'm going to put together for today as my scent of the day. Very good scent. And that is Kajal Om by the House of Kajal, penned by Chris Maurice. Rosenda Matu made a spectacular, sweet, warm, vibrantly succulent, woody-based, ubiquitous, yet unique. And I continue to say that because ubiquity is not a bad thing. You want some fragrances that have a DNA that is a killer. This also can compete in the likes of making Versace Eros an elevated scent. So if you have those scents in your mind and you say, oh, those are not unique, or oh, those are just commonplace, they're commonplace to you because you're in the frag community be to others. That DNA is a winner. So if you are listening to this particular video and you're seeing this as a scent, this DNA as a winner DNA, I mean a winner, a bona fide winner, Kajal Om takes this scent and DNA to a next level. So if you're interested in those type of fragrances, the Chanel All Extreme, Chanel Allure, Versace Eros, this is the fragrance that takes that DNA to the next level and gives you quite, quite amount of enjoyment. The Siage is for the first four hours, the trail is about four feet. It's a very powerful fragrance. It lasts on your skin for about six to seven hours as a projector. Then it dies down later in the day, but all over it, you're gonna have this scent with you throughout a 12 hour time period at least. If you spray it on your clothes, it will be there even longer. Competitively priced right now, I know this thing is came out in 2018, so it would have to be in the marketplace to where it's been discounted. So get your nose on this. Try to find a sample of Kajal Om by the House of Kajal. I don't think you'll be disappointed putting this scent on a masculine skin as a sweet, woody, citrus, vanillic, just wonderkin of a fragrance. Again, Kajal. Get your nose on it. Beautiful scent. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, in this Tandem Review Series, I want to bring to you, as I brought to you attention the other day, this is the McBride Sisters Sauvignon Blanc out of Marlboro, New Zealand. This is a 2020 vintage of the variety of Sauvignon Blanc. This is one that tasting the other day for the first time very much so surprised me in its eloquence. Um, for me, I am enjoying this second bottle tonight over a uh, bluefin tuna dish but to get into the wine let's get into the wine first and tell you what i get first off it's a very non octuse wine it's just spectacularly what you expect from a white sauvignon blanc in the era of today where there's so many wineries on the market i have become pleased to see a Sauvignon Blanc of this vintage and variety come at a $15 to $16 price point. This for me, off of smell, the smell alone, the aromas off the smell, the nuances that you get, and especially the great wine essence. This is one of the most pleasant smelling wines that you're going to get as a, when you start to go into springtime and everything starts to come into play as the warm weather starts to develop, your appetite starts to change your eating habit starts to change and also the way that you consume wine starts to change and everything in the essences of warmer weather the compliment that you want to get things like sauvignon blancs in your life and for me this sauvignon blanc like i said off this nose i get crisp crisp honeydew melon and grape rind you also get a nice tartness that is elevated in this particular wine that comes off like a mix of stone fruit or um, passion fruit with a just slight touch of vine, like a, a earth. If you get, if you ever have gone into a, a vineyard or even your own yard and broken a branch in half and you get that crisp wood smell, 
That is what you get out of this particular aroma and facets that come off spectacularly. To me, the enjoyment, the great enjoyment is how this wine pairs is not only to the nose, but the palate. It is a wine that goes down very crisp, very clean off the palate. It washes very nice. It only leaves the lingering facets of stone fruit and grapefruit, which I love about this particular Sauvignon Blanc. Now for me, I'm serving this particular wine at 40 degrees. I like my Sauvignon Blancs cold. I like it at the, the just the, the, really the peaks of coldness when you put it Sauvignon Blancs on the table for me. So 40 degrees, slightly above freezing, to me is a great way to taste this wine and enjoy it with a plate of um, white fish, even, I would say even a salmon dish, but more often white fish, chicken dishes, they go off spectacularly with this particular wine, especially if you're doing a lard, a herb, like a rosemary chicken with a light lemon crush over it. This is one of those type of wines that goes, especially in springtime. springtime. So imagine yourself right now roasting and or grilling chicken breast, cracking the rosemary, cracking the thyme over it, letting those essences flow. Um, slight olive oil touch to it. Then you pair this with this particular wine. I don't think you will ever go wrong with that. Um, pairing for me as I said how it washes over the body or over the tongue it tells me the presence of it the body is very light the tannins are nowhere you have no maybe a mild tannin to it but very very light tannin medium to mild to medium body very high in acidity that's one of those things that make all the flavors pop off my tongue which I enjoy greatly the mouth walls feel fantastic the tongue palate the upper mouth wall, the roof of the mouth, everything is enjoying this in harmony as you taste it and smell it off the glass. Everything in that citrus tone gives an inviting and crisp tonality to this particular wine. As I said, very non-obtuse. The oil contents, it's a white wine, so I don't get many runny legs. They run a bit slow, but not anything that will tell you that it's a wine that has high, high acidity or high, high alcohol content. I do believe that this is a 11% wine, um, as I recall from the other day, 11% on this particular wine, which is good for Sauvignon Blanc. It gives you a nice um, tongue bite, but nothing overpowering, giving those flavors and those aromas a run for their money. You don't want to stick your nose into this Sauvignon Blanc and smell anything other than those grapefruit rinds and those stone fruits. Beautiful, beautiful aromas coming off this. And as I said, this evening I'm going to pair this particular bottle with a dish of um, seared bluefin tuna. Then we're gonna encapsulate it with a nicely done red scalloped potato dish that we got off of Bon Appetit. So this is gonna be a great, great wine to go with that today. Um, and I suggest that I think that anyone who wants to go into a crispy white wine for the springtime, that even takes them into the summertime, if you want to put this in your, your uh, wine cellar or just your fridge to chill for a couple hours and drink and, and, and admire it for that day, this is a great, great wine to get from the McBride Sisters Vineyards. This is their New Zealand uh, region, Marlborough region, 2022 vintage of Sauvignon Blanc. Get your palate on this one. This was a nice wine for this particular uh, Sauvignon Blanc vintage. Good wine. Ladies and gentlemen, that is my content for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this great tandem review I have for you. The New Zealand made McBride Sisters uh, Sauvignon Blanc as well as Kajal Ohms pinned Chris Maurice and Rosendo Matau perfumed Kajal Ohms signature scent. These are two great uh, items for you to just search out, seek and explore to put into your collections and to just savor in and understand what they are to do for you and your experiences. As always, if you found anything of entertaining or educational about this content, all that I ask is that you hit the like button, subscribe, and even start to hit the bell. And to all my new subscribers, I see you guys are starting to come into droves. YouTube is recognizing my channel as one to put out there. You guys are clicking with the click-through rates, and it's, it feels phenomenal to see you guys come in and watch these videos. So continue with that. Continue to stick with me, and I'll continue to stick with you. Leave the comments and questions below. I can't wait to see them and get back with you guys. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.